Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode, we went ahead and did a little more adventuring, went on a medium adventure, and it went really well. Actually, we uh, we managed to do really, really good there. But I think this week we're going to be going to level up some of our level zeros. Uh, we have quite a few. I think we've got four now that are really low level. Some of them we've just taken on, some of them we've had for a little while. And we're going to try and see if we can level those up a bit. One thing I do want to just quickly go into before um, we start this episode, as you can see, I'm on week 29 in my personal save file. Personal save file's been going amazingly. But I just want to just quickly show two mods. There are two mods here, Show Me The Money and Roster Size Increase. Both of these would vastly help the series in terms of progression speed show me the money does exactly what it says basically when you get when you get loot so all of your gems all of your torches that you got left over food you got left over anything that sells at the end of a mission you get three times the amount of money now that is a little much so i'm looking for an alternative that's a bit cheaper for that but i've been testing it and a roster size increase is just a flat increase of 30 to our roster size so if people really do want us to build up a bigger roster size and and have more people coming in each week then please do let me know and i can activate that for now we'll just leave it as is and just play pretty much default without any uh, anything extra going on but we're going to jump into our uh cursed estate and see how we get on this week here we are in the cursed estate uh, if you remember at the end of the last episode in the last week we brought in a dragon slayer an apostate and we also brought in an alchemist all three of these actually already had backstories prepared people have been really helping out with backstories and getting them in very quickly and it's been very very much appreciated if anyone else does want to leave any backstories you can leave them either in the uh, comment section or you can join the discord and leave a few in there as well that'd be very much appreciated but i think we'll uh, get into get into our characters i don't think we have anything special going on we do have an alchemist um nomad wagon available here but unfortunately we don't have that much money going for us right now and we do have some districts that we could maybe try to get into looking at getting into the bank would be really nice people have told me that the bank is probably one of the best districts we can build so that'll be something i'll look into soon but let's get into the characters First up, we have our alchemist, Joseph Hare. And this backstory was actually written by me. It was actually written a really long time ago, at the very start of this series. I really, really like the alchemist. I think he's a really, really fun class to play as. And I just think his abilities are really interesting. So this is Joseph Hare. Mystified and intrigued by the human body's abilities to heal and repair itself, Dr. Joseph Hare spent his life dedicated to researching and experimenting with the limits of the human form. Working alongside grave robbers and bounty hunters to supply a stable source of bodies, he spent most of his days cooped up in a lab trying to heal, repair, and even reanimate a corpse. As he researched more into the art of healing, he started to look into other forms of life and how they repaired themselves. Flora was more interesting to him, as some species could completely be severed from the root but still survive and regenerate. This mystery fascinated Dr. Hare, and he began to wonder how this ability could be given to a human. He collected samples of a well-known, semi-sentient parasitic plant called the blood vine. The plant seemed as though it could react to its surroundings, despite having no visible sensory organs. It waited for beasts like bears and wolves to enter its snarls, then it would puncture them with straw-like veins to stuck out, suck out the creature's blood. But most importantly, it could regrow from a single leaf. Planting buds from the plant inside a corpse gave some interesting results, but not what he wanted, and Dr. Hare decided that a still living subject may be the only way to get the effect he desired. Dr. Hare was so confident this plant would give him the ability to heal that he hacked off his right arm and embedded the bud into his still bleeding stump. The blood vine grew rapidly, embedding its roots throughout his nervous system, completely taking over Dr. Hare's body. He was now just a passenger along for the ride. Dr. Hare was no more. The blood vine controlled his every move, but he was still there, watching in pleasure. Now, that is my proudest backstory. <laughs> I took a long time researching this and, and building up this, but um, Alchemist, as I said, is my favourite class. He's going to be a really good healer for us, and I think we're probably going to be using him a little bit today. Um, we'll have a little see. I'm hoping to do some short adventures today, so we'll see how that goes, but the, he, is, he is going to be very, very uh, important as a healer for us. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Next up, we have Rinaldius the Dragon Slayer, and this one is by Shep. Known wildly for his deeds to protect his kingdom, Rinaldius was a proud and noble dragon slayer. Unfortunately, there were others that were 
not so noble, jealous of his deeds. A group of other knights murdered a man and framed Renaldius as the culprit, exiling him from the kingdom and soiling his reputation forever. However, he is determined to one day come back to the kingdom and reclaim his position and ask for the princess's hand in marriage. He must prove himself by defeating the darkest dungeon and ending it once and for all. Um, that is just brilliant. Really, really great. Really, really great. Ren Ronaldo's there, the Dragon Slayer. I love the fact that he even keeps the Dragon Slayer in his title. He's so, like, proud and... and he wants everyone to know what he is and, and what he has achieved. He also actually got this. Uh, we ha we've had this for a little while. Ring of the Firstborn. Uh, extra damage to range skills. So he doesn't actually... I don't think he has any of his range skills on him right now. Um, but he does have this one here. Lightning Spear that we can unlock later. And he, he can be really, really useful for us. He's going to be great. I actually think he's going to end up playing an, a nice defensive role. As he can buff targets the rest of the team. With damage and protection and also activate repost and guard and ally so i think he's going to be very very powerful even if he's in the back line so that's great i'm really happy with that story thank you ship Lastly, we have our apostate Sophia, and this backstory is by DB Fan. Sophia is a vestal who despite what many say is a devout follower of the light so devout she wishes to worship it entirely so what she found forbidden text so when she found forbidden texts detailing a second side to worshiping the light she decided to also take the practice of that side as well a side that didn't channel the warmth of the light like vestal's healing spells instead channeling the dark cold cast off by someone close to death to stave off that death the brand um the branded a heretic and chased out her, of her church, Sophia headed to the hamlet to help her sisters of battle and cleanse actual heresies of the hamlet in her own way. Another great backstory there. Now, we have a problem though. So Sophia is a great stress healer. She can also um, do a free action to, gear, to give um, her friends a lot of extra stats if they're below 50% HP. But her stress healing is our main skill, but we have two very, very 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 problematic quirks pressure to succeed through the pressures of of what she's trying to do and her worship she's just not getting on as well as she could she's gonna get a minus 25 to stress healing skills and she's gonna get a minus 15 to stress healing received which is gonna be a big problem for her um, and she also gains extra stress if the torch is above 75 really really probably two of the worst things we could possibly get for um for our apostate so we're going to ho hopefully be removing those as quick as we can the other skills that she's going to be working with at least to start is this one here um she's going to be lowering the t uh, lowering the torch and she's going to be suffering some damage to some heroes get basically she tries to purposely get them below 50 percent um people are going to be playing in sort of a dangerous area uh but she is going to be gaining damage with um with, I believe, this skill here. Yes. She's going to be de de getting more and more damage. And she can keep on doing that over and over. And trying to build that up. She does have to be in a frontward position to play that though. And she also has Desecrate. She can clear corpses. And uh, that will blight and hopefully stun other enemies when she clears them. So that's going to be an interesting uh, an interesting way to play here. Hopefully we can use her to, a most, uh, use her to the most of our advantage. But I don't know how that's going to go. Okay, here we are. Ready to head out. I think we're going to head into the cove today. We're only doing a short adventure. We're hopefully going to fit two in today. And I'm going to just try and level up some of our lower levels. So we've got Kronos in front. He's going to be absolutely great. Unfortunately, we don't have one of his better skills enabled. This here, guard stance, is probably his best skill. And like I said, unfortunately, we don't have that. We have got people uh, trinketed up though. We've got our focus ring on here. It's going to be... Uh, giving us extra accuracy and crit for less dodge. He didn't have that much dodge anyways. He only had a, a base of five. So I really don't think that's going to affect him too much. And we've also got the um, slightly reduced max health, a little bit better stun resist, and a chance to heal on hit, which should keep him nice and tops up. We're also coming in with our flagellant here, uh, Jonathan Baker. He's going to be getting the extra damage. We're mainly doing this for the bleed resist because of um, some, of the, some of the abilities he has that can do a bit of... Uh, Oh, actually, he doesn't have that ability on right now. Reclaim is the one I'm thinking of. He has Reclaim here, which is going to be uh, sort of dealing bleed to him. But either way, this is going to be a little bit extra damage on him. And then we've also got the extra maximum health and protection, uh, just because I think that's going to be really helpful for us. We then have our Dragon Slayer in a third position. As I said, he's not going to be dealing any damage from here unless we want to um, use his Lightning Dash. We're mainly going to be using his uh, his Activate, Repost, and Guard, and his... Um, 
his AoE buff, and I've given him a lot of dodge as well. Uh, basically, because he's going to be guarding people, him having a lot of dodge is going to be really, really important. Or at least I think that's how that works. Uh, he is going to be um, getting a lot less food consumed, which is really, really nice. Uh, plus 10% stress isn't great there. Brawler, that's going to be really good for him later on, but for now we're not going to really play much with that. And then we've all, we're have all we also taking Sophia, although I think she is going to be slightly problematic with her stress healing, and she's not going to be able to do too much. I'm really hoping that... I'm taking the uh, the Blightstone, which should hopefully increase the Blight chance of this, even though the curve is notorious for uh, dealing with Blight. But we've also got the minus 10 stress and the extra accuracy here. Uh, I don't know if the accuracy will be any good for us, but we don't need the dodge because he doesn't start with any anyways, or she doesn't start with any stress here. And the minus 10 stress is just a nice little bonus, considering the uh, the stress healing issues we're going to have. And she's mainly going to be backlining there just to get a little bit of stress healing every now and again. I very highly doubt she'll be too important in the grand scheme of things. But anyways, let's go in, get in here, and see what we can do. Uh, we'll buy ourselves a little bit of food, a few shovels little bit of everything and we'll take 14 torches it's only a short one so it shouldn't be too it shouldn't be too problematic in fact we can just take 12 torches that should be fine and i think this should be good for us let's embark and see how this goes um, and we do have a diary entry by unstable straight for sixth our beastmaster from the previous episode upon entering the wield he said this place always so dirty and if you guys might remember his, he used to live in the Weald, and that's kind of where he came from. So that's the, like his view on returning to that place and thinking probably quite negatively about it. So although he does understand the place quite a lot, he probably doesn't want to return there very often. But we'll see how we can do here. We've got to explore 90% of rooms. Luckily, it's a one path, so we can just keep going straight. I am a little worried here. Everyone's entering with a with slightly uh, slightly higher stress because they're all level one. Um, but I think with our trinkets that we've got here, we should be good to go. Uh, we've got three shovels. I'm not going to do this. I was thinking about it, but with how many rooms we have to pass through here, considering we've got to explore 90%, there's a good chance that, unfortunately, we would come across a good few shovels shovel uh, clears that we have to deal with and that could be quite problematic uh, so these guys are very susceptible to um to blight not bleed so jonathan isn't going to be as good here but i'm hoping that we can deal a good amount with it um as you can see 40 percent and 50 percent here um we can do things like this transferring bleed and blight uh, and then taking less stress and things like that we can also transfer stress between us like we can take stress ourselves, but take it off another character which is quite kind of nice for now we're just going to be doing this hoping we can get the bleeds off when possible and this is just going to be we're going to be constantly doing this yeah as you can see we go down there from um Oh, minus 50 percent stress from one if i'm doing two stress to everyone to one stress so that's really not going to help that much but we'll see what we can do we'll try and take you out quickly our, our run here um chronos is probably going to be the best uh, the best one for us right now so we'll we'll block you and try and try and just see how this goes i'm hoping this goes well fortunately getting a stun there jonathan's not going to be too influential on this adventure i don't think he's we're mainly bringing people in here to um to level up but that is bad getting a disease right away i'm probably gonna get a stun here as well oh no we get a bleed though that's bad um so something i didn't really think about is we do not have a lot of healing here that's gonna blight everyone nice we didn't we do not have a lot of healing here i did not really think about that at all this this could be quite bad for us actually uh, we might have to cut our losses and and leave if need be um this is gonna armor pierce but it is gonna leave jonathan in a position where he can't really do anything so let's just buff everyone up and see how this goes okay i can't believe we got uh please stop hitting him thank god can't believe we got what we got there and uh got tetanus like if we have a look there um minus accuracy plus crit Luckily, that is actually kind of negated by this, so it shouldn't be too bad, and it, the crit should be quite nice, but I'm still a bit wary about that. That's not great for us. Um, I'm a little upset that I didn't really notice that we don't have any distinct healing here. Uh, that is going to be a problem. Definitely. We do have healing on uh, Kronos himself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to patch ourselves up here, because that's going to be problematic. Go for a crit there, and there's that heal that we need. A four heal there is great for us. Um, and I'm just going to do this. 
go for the strike and clear that guy out because he gets armor piercing and then just reassess our our load out here but this is it's going to be slightly problematic i maybe should have brought a little bit more food with me and um, i'm really just hoping that this guy can can take a few hits and we're, we're going to have to protect him a little more than normal we're gonna get an aoe stress here i think we're going to end up coming out of this relatively stressed uh, just because we don't have particularly good ways of dealing with stress we're gonna take him out first because he is a real big pain um and we're going to be guarding him for the most part as well so let's go with um, that on you. Oh, unfortunate there. We didn't quite get that. Um, again, we're just going to do that. You're going to get more stress healing because you are under 50% damage, which is 50% uh, health, which is really nice. And we're going to definitely guard you. Um, although both of these have good dodge and block and all that, it's going to help out a lot. And the repose is, of course, amazing for us right now. Um, we'll try and get you again. Bleed on you is going to be great. There is a few people, as you can see, coming up here that, that aren't particularly curve enemies, which we're going to be able to take out relatively easily. You're going to die to the bleed, so let's try and take you out, because you, you can deal bleed to us. We want to be stopping that as soon as possible here. Um, going to keep doing this while people are low health. That is the good thing. We are getting a major benefit from being at low health, so as long as we can sustain that, I think we're going to be okay. And we are going to be getting protection buffs here, which is really going to help. That riposte is going to be really, really big for us, though. Let's take you out. You're going to die to the bleed now, aren't you? No, not yet. A little bit of damage there. Okay. Bleed on you. Try to, at least. And then we can do this. I really like that. Being able to stun and blight, it's super, super useful. A horror here is going to mean that uh, our Dragon Slayer... Kind of his horror is going to go out of control. We can always finish off like that. When that doesn't work, though, it's real bad for us. It's real bad for us. Um, hmm. What does this do if we just do this? It just marks us and reduces our stress income. Not great. That is a great crit for us, though. And that even healed us up as well. Got some rubies there, which is great. I think this is going to end up being a pretty problematic dungeon for us. Uh, I, I may have made a, a slight mistake in not taking a healer here, uh, or at least a, a guaranteed heal. Um, that, that could really sh prove to screw us over quite badly. Uh, we do have a lot of food, though, so we can heal people with food when need be. And if it gets to that case, then I will be doing that. Basically, I'm, I, I want... If I could only mark this guy and then block him. That'd be the best. Uh, we'll go for you. You're going to be the easiest to kill. Um, we'll try and blight both of you. Your blight resist is high, but... Uh, bleed resist, sorry. But we can go for it, nonetheless. We're going to keep doing this. And guard you. He's going to take a lot of stress because of this, and he's taking plus 15 stress until camp as well, which I don't know what that's from. Uh, that's going to be really bad, but... We'll see. Jonathan taking another slash there. Okay, good on the block there. But that's that's going to be really bad for his stress. I think it's going to be really, really bad for his stress. Um, yeah, for some reason, I thought these were susceptible to, um, to bleed, not blight. I got that the wrong way around. So that's another reason why I've kind of messed up a little bit here. Of course, we can move back here. Um, we can get chance of high damage if target is below 30% HP. That's kind of nice. We can mess around with that a little bit. Um, we can do this for back one. Do some bleed. Uh, we'll just go for the slice on, on you. Getting a crit there is great. I really wish the crits would result in a heal, though. That'd be amazing, but we're not getting that yet. Buff up our targets. We do have a body in play as well, so we can do some blight. AoE blight is really, really important. Unfortunately, we're not getting the stun very often, but should be okay. Should be okay. Okay, thank God that missed. You're dead to the blight. Very nice. Okay, crit on you. Thank you, Jonathan. That's really, really good. Really, really good. Um, we should really be using this more often here. Um, it's a free action. We won't use it yet, though. We'll just use the stress heal. Dragon Slayer really needs some stress healing. Uh, we're going to do this for the armor piercing. Rush forward. Go for the slice and keep him in front just to deal with the, the, the last bit of this combat. I think when one enemy's left, it's going to be really important for us to do that. One thing that is really, really annoying for us right now is the fact that we do not have... Um, okay. We do not have an easy way to move people around and stress heal. Oh, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of problems with this build. It's okay. We'll, we'll get through it. Uh, we've got plus 25 healing. Okay. Uh... 
Does anyone not have a trinket on them right now? Because we need space for that, really. Uh, well, first of all, let's just... Let's just unbleed you. Then we can take that. And then... I don't know what else to, to discard right now. There's a lot of important things here. Um... Let's discard that. I mean, we could have just used it. I'm a bit stupid there, aren't I? We could have just used it. That would have been a way better use. That's that's pretty good, though. The uh, the shaman's headdress. Get extra camping skills. It's going to be really good for us in the future. Um, basically, what we've got to wish for here is not too many fights. Because we are in a really bad way. Okay. There's our first hunger check. Um, everyone's above 50% now, apart from Jonathan. So, I reckon we just, we just eat a bit of food. And get everyone kind of topped up a little bit. There you go. We need enough for, like, two more food checks, which should be fine now. Uh, we'll go for this. Oh. I did not know that did that, but I'm happy with it. I would have done that on Kronos if I'd have known that, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. Especially considering it crit. I didn't know that things like that could crit. I think this is going to be some more food, which is great for us. Can never remember if this is food or loot. Okay, it's loot, but it is also a little bit of food as well. Uh, I would very much like those bandages. Let's sack off those. Take that. Sack off those. Take that. It could be a mistake. They might be curious. We want to use that. No. Random traps. Random traps are so bad for us right now. So, so bad for us right now. Okay. We've got a battle here. One of these that we can no longer do anything with. I don't know if we get anything from touching it without having anything. But I'm not going to bother just in case. I really don't want to take any unnecessary damage here. Uh, 60%, 60%. We do not have good trap disarm here. Thank God he got the disarm. That stress heal on um, on uh, Ran Ranaldius is very important. I almost forgot his name there. Ranaldius, Sophia, Kronos, and Jonathan. These are these are people we haven't really played with yet, so I'm, I'm get still getting used to everyone. So we do have one of the newer enemies here, the cor Corrupted Boston, that we really need to be careful of. Still going to strike him down immediately. Big heal there. We crit on that. That was awesome. Uh, managing to get his stress down a lot. In fact, I've got an idea. I've got I've got an idea. It's a bit of a weird one, but I have I have an idea that could prove very useful for us here. So first of all, I'm going to do this. Trade some stress. Take it on us. Uh, we're going to block you. I've got a bit of an idea for next combat, which could prove very useful for us. I don't know yet. It, it really it really depends. Taking that stress is not good. Uh, we don't have camp abilities either. Stunning, stunning Kronos is terrible. Absolutely terrible. And everyone's attacking Kronos. Great stuff. Great, 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 great. I think he might die because he can't heal himself now. God damn it. Um, we're going to transfer that. Give me the bleed. I'm just going to take the damage. Um, oh, we got the plague. No. We took on the plague already. So we'll guard you because you're super weak right now. Um, I I think we're going to have our first death today. I genuinely think we're going to have our first death today. It's, it's certainly possible. I made a massive mistake here. Take you out because you're giving plagues. Yeah, I've got, I've got an idea. And it may not work, but I have to try it. Killing you is great. Please don't. Thank God. We need we need to be guarding her all the time right now. Um, and let's just go for this. You can't be missing things like that, sir. Please. It's really bad for us. Really, really bad for us. Nice bit of blight there. With the plague, she gets a few downsides, but also a few positives as well. We're going to have to keep an eye on her from now on. Uh, you can't really do anything from here. So, let's just take some stress off of you. She does receive less stress healing, which is a pain. Okay, we got you. Okay, so... I've got a bit of an idea now. First of all, we are bleeding so much. Um, you can you can get the bandages for now. So, I think... We go like this. We... We take... We need some inventory space to, to do this. So, we, we, we take this... Put that there. Okay, we need more than more than one inventory space to do this, actually. We're going to have to throw something away if we want to do this, which is a real pain in the ass, but let's do it. Okay, let's throw you away. We need, we need to be able to do this. So throw that there. Put that there. Put that 
No, 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 that's not right, that's not right. Um, put that back on you. Put that back on you. You come over here. You're gonna take off this. And you're gonna... Put on this. First of all, let's reorder everyone. Yeah, you're gonna put on that. Um... You're gonna... You can have this instead. You're gonna have that on. And... You're gonna have that on. Right, so now she's got really high dodge. Which should help. Although, she's not gaining any dodge there, I don't really know why. Minus 20 from other skills. Um, what the heck? Um, what's going on exactly? I don't know why we are minus selected skill. Minus 20 for six rounds. Oh, my God. Okay, that's going to be bad. She's basically dead. <laughs> There's nothing we can do to help her right now. Like, at all. Um, I really don't want to do this. Okay, so let's put you there. We're going to have to arrange this right. So let's put you there. Sadly, let's take that off you and put it on you. You can have that. Right. It doesn't particularly matter, so you can just take that. Can you do anything from the back line? Not really. You can do this. Um, hmm. Push them back one. Oh, you've got to use front position for that. So, I've made huge mistakes today. Huge mistakes today. So eat with you a little bit. Eat with you a little bit. So, my hope is we can hit with her to heal her up. And hopefully get some stress heals out of that as well. You're going to just kind of play as normal. I can't really do anything with you. I, I genuinely don't know what to do with you. Um, I could just... You don't need either of those. Um, I could put the dodge one on you as well and you could... Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. 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 Hmm. I didn't... How did I not notice that none of these have heals? How did I not notice that? The, the, the thing I'm worried about more than anything... I mean, everyone is going to die, which is sad. But also, I don't want to lose things like my focus ring. Uh, so let's carry on. We need to hope we don't get too many food checks now. We only have two more rooms to do. We know this one's non-combat. If we can... So that's non-combat, but we have to go through combat to get to it. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. Please trap. This is bad. You have to go for it, and you have to succeed. Thank God. Okay, this battle right here is the is going to determine how this goes. Okay, that's not too bad, and we got the surprise as well. Okay, that's really really good. So he, you're basically not going to be able to do anything here. And take some stress off you. Um. No. Okay, that's bad. Right, do this. Let's guard you. Oh my god, I'm so I'm just so scared right now. This is so bad. Point blank shot on you and your death's door with no ability to heal. Oh my god. This has gone just awfully. Uh, I don't think we can... Nah, we're dead. 
We just lost one of our best trinkets and our first death. Oh my god. I thought this battle was going to be fine. I really didn't expect it to go this poorly, but it just went so bad. So fast. I can't believe we just lost that trinket as well. I wasn't expecting him to die at all. I was not expecting that at all. Oh, we got... Okay, you get it back. I did not know that. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay. Kronos has gone, which is just a crushing blow. A huge crushing blow. But, at least... At least we got something out of it. I did not know you got the trinkets back. Thank God. But Kronos is gone. One step before the end of the mission. And that is our first death. That was probably one of the worst missions I've ever done in Darkest Dungeon. Uh, and it was truly only fault of my own. I did not think about healing at all going into that. And that was completely just dumb. I was just trying to level up my level zeros. I thought it would be okay to level them up, but... Kronos is dead. It's sad to see him go so soon. One adventure he got through. One adventure. Not even one. Oh my god. So we'll see who we can take on next. We have... A leper. We have a seer. Um, I don't think we have a seer yet. We have a seraph. We have a slayer. See is interesting. Uh, he's got a lot of, like, self-stun abilities. Uh, I don't really know the best way to play him. Um, you're really good. The Slayer can be really, really fun. Uh, very Doom-based character. Um, oh, I don't know who to choose here. Um, I don't know if we should take any of these on, to be honest. I'm really not sure. Do we have a Cataphract? We do. We have Eon. Okay. Let's take on the Seraph for now. And just wallow in sadness. So, whoop, I don't want to embark. First of all, I want to go... Actually, no, I do want to embark. I want to take these guys off of here. Oh, my God. That was bad. So, we'll take we'll take all of our trinkets off. I can't believe I went out without a healer. What was I thinking? I thought a short adventure, it wouldn't be too bad. And with, with the jar of slime, we'd, we'd, we'd do just fine, but... It just didn't go that way, did it? It just didn't go that way at all. And that is truly unfortunate. So we're going to have to do a little bit of stress healing here. Um, I think Jonathan can go in the penance hall. I mean, because of course he can. Um, Sophia, she did get a disease. Uh, and I think so did... No, it was Cronus that got the disease, wasn't it? And he's dead. Um... Honestly, I think Sophia's a lost cause. She has got two of the worst quirks possible. I think she's an absolute lost cause. I I I honestly think we just we just don't take Sophia out again for a little while. She just she absolutely crapped the bed on this one. And her not having some of her specific abilities it really, it really hurt us. I, to be honest, for some reason I thought that one of her abilities heals and it just doesn't. It was really my fault at the end of the day. Uh, so let's, let's make sure you're leveled up and we could take some of your other skills into account. Um, but I think we're honestly pretty happy with what you have going on right now. So we're going to rank those up. We're going to level your armor up as, the, as we will do for uh, Jonathan as well when we can. Sophia, though, you're not getting any attention from me right now. And should we even bother putting you in... We'll put you in the bar. Okay. Well, that was just awful. And it was completely my own fault. A stupid decision made. I guarantee 95% of you will just cringe when I when I set off for that adventure without a healer. I don't know what made me do it. I don't... I don't know. But it is, it is the sad, sad truth. Um... Right, we have some interesting stuff there. That is a boss, though. We don't want to do that yet. Um, and we've got a level two short adventure in the Warrens. 
We don't have many level 2s right now, so it might not be a good idea to go for that just yet. Um, the Wise and Hag. Got another Apprentice one here. Interesting. Um... So I think I think right now our only our only real uh, real decision we can make is to go for this one here and do another short adventure and try and level people up a little more. Really upsetting to see that happen. I wasn't expecting it at all. I should have just thought a little bit ahead and made a bit of a better decision there. But Kronos, he is he is gone. I apologise to the person that wrote his backstory. He is uh, he has perished. We take on another. It was bound to happen at some point. I just I was so surprised it happened on that fight. Right, let's uh let's let's build up another crew that we hopefully put a little bit more thought into here. Um So We've got Morgana here, our Ermine Seeker. I think we can I think we can safely safely go with uh Morgana here. In the second line. Willow. He hasn't been out much. Let's put Willow in front. Mary. She can come out as well. She is a, a, a decent healer here. Um, yeah, let's let's get Mary there. And then we'll go with Ruby in the back line, I think. And there should be a relatively decent group. Oh, we'll see, though. We'll see. So, let's, let's trink it up again. So... Willow, he gets extra stats if he's in position 3. I don't even know if he can do anything from position 3. Doesn't look like it, so that's not going to be very useful to us at all. Um, you're going to gain the way more accuracy on your range skills. That's going to be great for you. Um, oh my god. We are getting some terrible, 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 terrible things on our characters here. So, we're going to have to take both Laudanum and Medical Herbs. Otherwise, she's going to gain 40% extra stress, which is just unbelievable. Um, and in fact, because of that, we're going to take the slightly less stress trinket there. Um, we could go with... Um, we could go with this here. Uh... Extra damage again, but we will, we will always knock ourselves back. But we're always in the back position, so that's not a big deal. Uh, on you, we can go with extra max HP and protection. That's going to be nice. Um, along with some extra dodge, I think. Probably the dodge for the speed is better. Morgana, you can go with the extra damage. Accuracy and crit. Actually... No, you're gonna you're gonna go with um you're gonna go with the slime, um, and you willow uh, you can go with this and the uh, the the dodge as well. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Wait. Ah, okay, that balances that. What's your natural dodge at? Natural dodge is five. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that to slightly balance that out and see how that goes. I am, I'm, 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 I'm very worried, though. Um, we're, we've only got one proper healer here, although we do have him being able to self-heal off of his life drain. We'll try this out and see how this goes. Right, we, we also start with this. You used to gain immunity at death's door for a planet of your... Oh, my God, that's that's kind of interesting. So we, always, we already start with Loudonum, which is really great. We'll take 12 food... Um, three shovels, two of those, two of those, three of these, two of those, two of those, and a bunch of torches as well. I'm taking three of the medical herbs, because then we can use two, but also have one of our, in our inventory for uh, Ruby here. Oh, let's get into another another one here and see how this goes. We do have another diary entry from the POV of the Smith and Ellis claimants. So Smith says, Chasey is quite the charmer. The way she slices up those beasts was quite something. I couldn't get my eyes off her whenever she stopped, stepped in to deal damage. I handed her some coin from my share and she seemed uh, like quite a woman. I wonder if I'll ever get a chance with her. And Ellis says, Ugh, Smith doesn't know what he's getting himself into. I've heard of women like her. I know of her tricks and I'll be sure to keep an eye on her. And that's just a nice interaction between the succubus and the claimant brother and sisters really like that that is by soft roll thank you very much okay let's ho hopefully have a bit of a better time this time around 
Let's go for this rune battle straight away. Willow should be pretty decent here. Even though he gains damage when we torch down and things like that, I'm still going to keep the torch relatively high and deal with it the way I normally do, and we'll see how that goes. But let's have a little look. See, uh, 8%, 8%, 6%. We'll go with you, 8%, because we've got a little bit of stress on you. Revealing that, um, relieving that stress is going to be nice. Let's fight these. We have a stress dealer on the back. The surprise tier is going to be great for us, though. Um, we're going to go with this. Try and whip. Yeah, there you go. And a nice hit there. That is, I think, I think this does darken slightly. Yeah, torch minus five. So we are going to have to deal with that a little bit. Um, we could go with buffing a target to, uh, to random, to get some, uh, random damage reflection. So we'll do that. We'll buff you. Uh, we'll go for the kill on you. And there you go. And, and empower on you. Hopefully we don't get watched. He's in the back line now, which isn't great. But that damage reflection insta-killed him, which is great. Good, good. Damage reflection is always nice. We're going to try and kill you again with the whip. Pull you up front. And I'm going to life drain you. Might as well get a bit of healing off that. Lovely. Um, and I'm, I'm going to do this just to re uh, relieve some of that stress and keep us topped up for later. Uh, we can go for a buckshot here. Um, just for a little bit of extra damage on the front line, considering we can't hit her normally. Uh, and we're going to have to keep using the whip here. Actually, we're going to have to use our piercing dagger. It is a bleed, but it does debuff protection. So even though we're not going to be getting the bleed very often, the debuffing protection is going to be really nice. And that battle went far, far better than our previous ones did. Oh, I'm going to get so many bad comments about that death. I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. Oh, it's okay, though. It's okay. A mistake was made. We'll learn in the future. We will learn in the future. Hunger check straight away here. Of course, we've got our shovels ready for this. Hey, we get a map here, which is great for us. Because we only need to... Ah, oh, it, didn't, it didn't quite reveal what we needed to reveal there, which is a shame. Uh, I was hoping to see these next two rooms to see which one's got the combat in it and which one doesn't. Got a bat here. We're going to be getting a little bit of stress from that. But luckily, I'm just going to take it on Morgana because she doesn't have much stress already. So we can deal with it. And we'll finish off the bat right there and then because I do not want to be getting that stress. Uh, we'll try and take out you. We don't want to be gaining that uh, in power. And we'll again go with this. I really like getting that 68% uh, max. And also him attacking a, a random target is not a bad thing. I do believe att attacking random target can can attack beyond the reach of the, um, of the attack you're using. So if it can only hit the front two lines, if you get an attack random unit, it can actually attack further than that, which is nice. Um, keep on taking you out. I love this whip. This whip is really good for us right now. And this crew is working really well together. We'll go for a bit of a heal on you. A nice crit there. Lovely. A bit of stress healing alongside. And you're probably going to die from that. Not quite, but you are going to die now. There you go. The whip does its job. Lovely. And finish you off. Nice one, Ruby. Nice one, Ruby. But yeah, that death is definitely going to take a toll on the, uh, on the, on the group. I think everyone's going to feel that pretty harshly. Um... We'll throw away... I'm going to just throw away this because I'm, I'm really hoping to not get on Death Star here. I know last time we ended up doing it and it would have been great to get Death Star immunity on the last one, but not always how it works. Sam that. Get in here with a key. Ooh, nice. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. I know it's money and we do need money, but I'm just going to leave that for now because I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on. I don't want to get extra stress on Ruby right now. That wouldn't be great. Keep heading this way. We'll keep using you because you've just got the highest disarm chance. And it is going to reduce a little bit of stress there. That contains loot. I'm going to get rid of the Loudenum now. Um, I think it's going to be worth it now that we're... It's, we're not going to get too much more stress from here on out. We do have two more battles going on, but hopefully we shouldn't... We shouldn't see too much of the effects of that. Right. We unfortunately did go the wrong way, so we are going to have to go through this fight here. Which is a shame, but we do get two more Curios out of it. A few more busts. A few more busts. And here's our fight. Okay, it's a bat, so we are going to take some stress here. Um, I'm just going to take it on you, because you've not got much stress right now. And we're going to try and take you out. Yes, a big crit there. And she gains 200 debuff skill chance on that. That's great. So that debuff that she's placing on them there is, is really, really nice. Um, let's hit both. Let's go with this again. We're probably going to heal him next round, if we get the chance. Because he is, he is taking a few hits here and there. We're going to keep whipping, moving people around. 
Let's go with a life steal here. I wonder if he gets more life steal on a kill. That's certainly plausible. Okay, there you go. That damage reflection there. Wonderful. We can't exactly take you out with that, so we're gonna have to use our buckshot here. We'll go with the heal on you. Won't be too much. Only two, unfortunately. That heal isn't the best, but it keeps us alive. So I don't mind. And we're gonna wear uh, a Twilight Night Trinket here. Even though we just took this, I'm gonna take the Twilight Night Trinket. Um, I would very much like to swap these two trinkets around and give you the uh, the dodge one and give you the healing. Uh, but I don't know if we have space to do that. I'm just going to play it on a bit of a risky scale and just go into this battle. Slightly ill-prepared. Not too much stress coming in here, which is nice. And we can indeed whip there for uh, a nice pullback. And we, we're just getting the heal so often. It's a 30% chance. I think we've had it with basically every hit we've used on it so far. We'll keep using that life steal. Um, let's heal party. Regards us all. Basically, she's going to take some more damage on board. But it shouldn't be too bad. We'll take you out. Nice one, Ruby. Good shot. Good shot. We'll use our Chakram here, see if we can get anything going on. Minus 10 accuracy there is great. Take a little horror. That's fine. I think she's been watched. She resists She resists the being observed, which is really nice. Um, we'll just go for a finish on you. And skeet shoot you. Marks you, which is nice. Uh, and we'll, we'll reduce stress on you. Keep everyone low stress at the end of this adventure here. And strike you down. Not quite. We can get you the... There you go. And I can't remember what this does. I think it's just a, a, a buff. But we will take on... Uh, let's get rid of these. Take that on. I'm just going to use this in case it gives us anything special. Yeah, it's a stress reduction. Nice. Good, good. Okay. We made it through that one much better off than the last one. Which is great. But today has been a sad day. It's been our first death. Due, due to, like, completely circumstances of my own creation. Really could have could have got away from that without, uh, without dying. Um, but it's unfortunate we did. Uh, we managed to clear stress on our two here, and we'll see if we're taking on anyone new here. We've actually not got anyone new apart from the Enigma, um, and we, we are at a full party right now, um, and we, we don't even have the chance to get more. Uh, we will upgrade this to take on a few more people each week and see who we can bring in. Um, I know that we don't have space right now, but I think upgrading that is important. And the next upgrades we're going to be looking to, really, is our uh, skills and our armor so we'll see if we can upgrade any of those right now we're a lot of paper off of that we could do some trading to maybe upgrade one or two of these um or we could just go for skills straight away but you gotta remember we've got to be level like the level requirement to even upgrade our skills and most of our guys are level one right now which means that we can't do that uh so that's slightly problematic in that case what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna go on and back throw these guys out and we're gonna take the trinkets off of them so that we're not uh losing them Wondering where they are. So let's just go through them and make sure. Let me take that off you. Them two off you. Yeah, the Urban Seeker there was absolutely amazing. Did a great job with her. But I think that's everyone. Okay, good. Oh, no. Both of these got locked in. That's brutal. So whenever we whenever we play with Ruby, whenever Ruby goes out to adventure, she's gonna need to keep Loudenum and herbals, uh, medical herbs on her at all times. Otherwise, we are gonna take some serious stress, which is a problem, definitely a problem. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please let me know what we should do with someone dying. It is, it's a tragedy. It really is. It really is a tragedy. It's, it was bound to happen at some point. I just... I made a mistake. It happens. I'm sure it'll happen again. I've been playing this game a lot recently, so I'm surprised I made such a basic mistake of not bringing a dedicated healer with me. But it happens. And unfortunately, we we fell, we fell victim. And Kronos is no more. I'm sure the group is going to feel the effects. Luckily, no one really knew him. It's sad to say, but people didn't really get to form a connection with him. So hopefully people won't be too sad, won't be too down. But it's still, it's a death. People are going to appreciate his efforts. And yeah, we're going to have to deal with that as time goes on. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.